Good morning. Another beautiful day in the Keys, and welcome to the Kirk of the Keys. People ask me why I chose the Kirk of the Keys. The question is, why the Kirk? What's the question? Uh, why, how, why or how has this church helped your faith grow? Like a lot of us, I got out of the church for way too many years, and uh, one day in 1995, I woke up and I had custody of my three children. The Kirk has been home to Janet and myself for quite a few years now. We, um, we started when membership was very small. Um, I started coming to the Kirk um, when I was in elementary school with my younger cousin, Jesse, and then she moved to Georgia and I kind of stopped going to church altogether. Well, now my kids have grown and, and left the nest. Um, I needed a place to go back to. We just love the beauty of the church, the warmness of the church, and the warmness of the folks that are here more than anything. So about four years ago, um, I felt that God was placing it on my heart um, to start coming back to church and so I told my dad that we need to start going back. I called my mom when I got out and I said, Mom, I, I, have found, a, I have found my church. We feel the joy when new folks come in. We love the fellowship that we have. There's a lot of things that play into it. Certainly the, uh, the music's wonderful. Um, Dustin gives a, a wonderful sermon and gives us something to think about during the week. The, uh, the small groups have just been a, a, a blessing for me. Has given me a sense of fellowship with people and the relationships that I've built with people has been so unbelievable. The Kirk has a history of not having many children. It gets right down to me for the babies. Because, oh Lord, how I do love the babies. When we first started, there was only two children. And now it is just magnified. All you can hear is the pitter patter of little feet. Um, I've been through two reconstructive knee surgeries now, and just recently I've had to medically withdraw from college and kind of uproot my life and come back home. And it's been really hard. Everyone at the Kirk has been so unbelievably supportive, and they've been with me through every step of the way, and it's helped me get through so much. And just the fellowship has been so amazing from everyone and the support. Your story, you've packed so much life and challenge into so many few years compared to the rest of us. And I know many in this church would say when they hear your story that, wow, if I had that kind of faith, you know, when, when I was your age, maybe my life would have turned out differently. And it inspires. I think your story inspires so many. And it really humbles us that, that we're so glad that we got to play a very small part of, of supporting you and encouraging you and showing you love. And so I love the idea that we're all in this together and, and you are a big part of this family. Thanks. Dustin teaches us that God is constant and God is love. And so are all of the people at the Kirk of the Keys.